Mr. Rasheed. Director's report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. I do have one comment. Uh, at the end of the year, I always like to comment on the previous year's employments uh, that we had or the boarding passenger activity at Will Rogers World Airport. Um, 2012 saw a 3.26% increase over 2011, so that's good. And uh, if you recall in past meetings, we had a, a very long string of 11, 12 or so months of continuous increases month over month of the previous year. Um, in 2012, uh, United initiated service to San Francisco in August of last year. Uh, Southwest Airlines started Chicago Midway. And United, have, of course, has announced Cleveland uh, for this year uh, starting February 14th. So we're off to a good start. And then we do have the uh, initiative that we're partnered with U.S. Airways to uh, try to uh, secure slots into uh, Ronald Reagan National Airport. So that's good as well. That would also provide service to Charlotte, North Carolina, if we're successful with that effort. So air service has been doing quite well. That's my report. Mark, I have a question. <coughs> Excuse me. As I recall from looking at the annual report, I, I believe what 2007 or 2008 was a peak year, and then we went down. Are we back up to that level? We are. We are. Good. Any other questions or comments from the trustees? Seeing in, Mark, thank you very much, sir. Will Rogers World Airport. Item A is to approve the plans and project manual submitted by Frankfurt Shore Bruza Associates for the air traffic building piping insulation replacement project for Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center. Authorized advertisement for bids to be opened on February the 19th. Item B is approving the plans and project manual submitted by Frankfurt Short Bruza Associates for the 2013 medium voltage electrical upgrades project, Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center, bids to be opened on February 19th. Item C is approving the request for pre-qualification for the check baggage inspection system project. We're authorizing staff to advertise for and conduct the pre-qualification evaluations. Item D is approving the joint resolution between the Airport Trust and the City of Oklahoma City to submit grant applications for the 2013 Airport Improvement Program funds for Will Rogers World Airport. This application will be to the Federal Aviation Administration. This also uh, resolution also uh, establishes the guidelines to accept the grant, to, uh, designate the official representatives for the Trust and the City to sign all the documents. Item E is to approve the easement agreement with Chickasaw Telecommunications Services to install a fiber optic cable uh, to the telecommunications services to the U.S. Cellular Equipment Lease. Item F is to uh, authorize the purchase of two additional compressed natural gas shuttle buses. Uh, this is from the pricing agreement we did last year with National Bus Sales and Leasing Incorporated. Item G is adopting the resolution authorizing the director to make application to the City of Oklahoma City to rename Southwest 64th Street from Duke Avenue to Eddy Avenue as Lindy Ritz Lane and consenting to the name change. Item H is approving the request for bids for a pricing agreement for a new 1500 gallon class 4 aircraft rescue firefighting vehicle and authorizing the bids to be received on February 19th. That's all items under Will Rogers. Thank you, Mr. Uh, comments or questions from the trustees? I have a comment on uh, item G on Lindy Ritz. Um, Lindy <coughs> is retiring as the director of the Mike Maroney uh, Aeronautical Center after a really amazing 41-year career with the federal government. And uh, I'm delighted that we're taking this action, Mark. Thank you. Question, if I could, uh, Mr. City Manager, does the renaming of this, uh, in your opinion, fall within the uh, parameters of the guidelines that have been set up for renaming streets? I have specifically asked that of the planning department and they have very clearly affirmed that it does meet within the street naming policy that was adopted by the city council. And the reason it does is because that exempts campuses and complexes Excellent. Of, of that, that type. So it's a, a, I had that same very question. We wouldn't want to go it against the council policy on street naming. Thank you, sir. Move through. Motion is second. Any other comments? Please record your votes. Thank you very much. Wally Post. The only item for general aviation is to approve an easement agreement with Coxcom LLC doing business as Cox Communications to install a underground fiber optic cable uh, to Hangar 8 uh, occupied by Bel Air Aviation at Wally Post. 
Chair of the Trustees. <clears throat> second. Motion is second. Seeing no questions, please record your vote. General. I'd like to request approval for item A, the uh, request uh, receipt of the delinquent accounts receivable report, which I might add is a little over $6,000. Uh, the construction project status report uh, as of January 24th, and the budget to actual report as of December 31st, 2000, uh, 2012. Item B is accepting the performance bond uh, for the cleaning and janitorial services contract that was previously awarded to ISS facility services. They will commence on March 1st. Uh, item C is to approve the plans and project manual submitted by Frankfurt Shore Bruza Associates uh, for the annual utility repair and maintenance contract advertising of bids to be open February 19th. Thank you, Mark. The motion is second. Seeing no discussion, please record your votes. Lease agreement. Item A is to approve a farmlands lease agreement with Roy and Janice Nuttall to lease approximately 1.6 acres, effective January 1, 2013. Item B is to accept the assumption agreement and use guarantee for the sale of T Hanger Unit 1303 from Freddie Baker Trust to Freddie Baker Family Trust as provided by the lease agreement with PWA Incorporated. C is to approve a supplemental lease agreement with Southern Nazarene University, extending the term of their agreement for a five-year period, effective January 1st. Item D is approving supplement agreement number one with Air One Flight Academy Incorporated, updating insurance language. Item E is uh, approving supplement number one with Avis Rent-A-Car LLC, also updating property insurance language. Item F is approving supplement agreement number three to the passenger airline operating and lease agreement with United Airlines, leasing departure gates eight and ten. They have five gates now at Will Rogers, commencing January 1, 2013, and lease the existing ticket counter space, commencing December 1st. Item G is approved the supplement number three to the airline use and operating agreement with American Airlines, extending the term for six months, uh, commencing January 1st and allowing for Americans' reconfiguration of certain lease premises at the airport. Item H is approved supplement uh, lease agreement number five with Hangar 84 LLC. This confirms the lease they had as an option. They're taking that out and adding square footage to provide construction of an aircraft parking ramp on the south side of their premises, which will also have offices with restrooms and storage space. That's all the leases. Trustees, desires on the leases? Move approval. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please record your votes, and they are approved. Item 8. Move Request approval. approval of the rep. Motion is second. Any discussion? Please record your votes, and it is so done. Comments from trustees? Comments from staff? Any citizen wishing to be heard? Seeing none, we are adjourned. <laughs>